I'm here at the Westminster Kennel Club, perhaps the most prestigious kennel club in the entire country and the host of the ultimate dog show. We're going to get an exclusive behind-the-scenes chat with the voice and face of the Westminster Dog Show, Mr. David Fry. Hello, David. Hi, Joe. Hey, good to see nice you. Nice to see you. Yes. Welcome. Oh, and you even have... I got Ty. Ty. He came to work with me today. He's a certified therapy dog, but on days like this and leading up to Westminster, he's my own <laughs> personal therapy dog, too. You're going to need it with all the phone calls you must receive and the freneticness leading it up to that crazy. show. It gets crazy. It really does. So then you it's get... good having him here. You know, pet him. And his him. sister, Belle, too. She pet comes Belle. along. Make they make sure you call. Oh, and they put you to work. This is one of his shakedown modes. He says, "Scratch my neck." He also uh, has a certain pose that he goes into when he wants his belly rubbed or when he wants a cookie. He lets you know exactly what he needs. See, dogs don't need to talk. <laughs> he can so figure it all out. You have been with the show since <laughs> 1990, 18 years. This is your 18th year for Westminster. Tell us how you got started with well, it. I got started because I was showing a dog. And uh, people knew about my background in, in the sports world with the Denver Broncos and the 49ers and with ABC Sports in sure. New York. And at some point, they were looking for somebody to do the television to take over for someone. And they, somebody threw my name in there and said, what about David Fry? I used to work for the Denver Broncos after right. all. And I said, well, and they called me and I said, well, sure, I'd be interested in talking to you about it. But I've never been on air. I've just been around it a lot. Right. I kind of felt like I could do it. But, uh, but you know, I thought, well, that's great. It'll be fun for a few years. And then... I'll figure out what else I'm going to do with my life, but now it's become my life. Well, all the people we've met who even have the dogs in the show, it takes over their life, and they're not even the, uh, the person who, <laughs> who runs it, basically. It is a year-round event. It really is. And we go, uh, we have a dog show in February, but we spend the rest of the year getting ready for it and thinking about it all the time. Uh, it's true in the dog world. It's true in my world. It's where we're talking about, uh, we'll see you at the garden. Or, right. You know, I'm going to retire my dog at the garden. It's her last show. Or I'm bringing out my new dog at the garden. I want everybody to see it because we're all going there to, so that our peers can see right. our great show dogs. We're proud of them and we want them to be seen. And you know, what better place than in front of millions of people on television and now millions right. more on the Internet. Why is Westminster the premier dog show in the world? I think there's a number of things. First of all, it's a great legacy of 130 years. You know, we're the second longest continuously running sporting event in this country, behind only the Kentucky Derby. Really? And uh, and that gives us a lot. We're uh, obviously we're in the media capital of the world. We've been right. here since 1877 in New York City. We're in the world's most famous sporting arena, Madison Square Garden. Right. Uh, we're one of only three uh, one of only three organizations that ha that's had all our events in all four different versions of the garden. So we have that going for us. We have the media. We have over 600 media people in attendance last year. Um, it's just the place to be and the place to go. What do you like most about the show? I like the fact that it's the, it combines the elements of glamour, all the great things in our sport, all the great dogs in the same place at the same time, the only time that ever happens all year. Plus, it's just a celebration of the dog in our life. You know, that's what I like to tell people on television, that these are real dogs right. and that the people you see handling these dogs are real people. They go home to right. jobs and they go home to families and, and they, these dogs are family dogs that sit on our couches and shed on our clothes and steal food off the counter and maybe even take a drink out of a toilet. The history here at the Westminster Kennel Club is pretty incredible. Show us some of these, the catalogs. Well, you know, the very first Westminster was in 1877. Oh, my god! This was going to be our 131st, but, you know, there wasn't, the, the light bulb wasn't even invented then. So it's pretty so amazing weird to think when about. you think about our history, the great show, the first, very first annual New York bench show at Gilmore's Gardens, the Hippodrome, but, which was the, the forerunner of the Madison Square Garden right. right down the street here at Madison Park. So uh, you get a listing of all the dogs. I think we had 80-some different uh, breeds and varieties of dogs. And, but, uh, you know, back then, uh, we had three days of the very first dog show, and it was so successful that they added a fourth day, and we donated the entire proceeds from that fourth day to help form the Henry Berg Memorial Hospital at the ASPCA for dogs who were injured. And Which, of course, lost. was the first major shelter in the country. Absolutely. So we had a big part in that, and we've continued to do that for 130 years, support the ASPCA, support the Animal Medical Center, wonderful. a lot of wonderful causes around. Well, oh, thank you for giving us a little taste sure. of the history, and uh, we can't wait. Well, it's an exciting time of year for all of us, and anybody who loves dogs, we know we'll be watching. We'll see you at the garden.